plus uh it's sam i just got back from a long day of shopping with my sister and lily we had a really fun girls date and i got a, i just needed to get um some curtains which I literally did not find what I was looking for. I did find a few, so that was good. But I ended up going to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, and Kohl's. So I figured I would just share what I got with you guys because I got the cutest thing. So I went with my sister and her birthday is in August, so it is her birthday month. And she fell in love with this backpack, which is so adorable. Um, it is just this really lovely pale yellow with all these gorgeous little daisies and kind of like wildflowers. And she thought that she could use it as either a backpack or a diaper bag. We're like literally collecting backpacks at this point because we have our really fabulous one from 12 Little that we both have just in different prints, which I'm obsessed with. But then we saw these ones and these ones are so cute as well. So we got these ones. These were at TG Maxx. They were $34.99 and originally $68. And this is by Madden Girl. So that's that. And then that is what the back looks like. And then it also comes with like this little cute, I don't know if it's like a phone bag or what, but it's really cute. This one in pink. So we could twin it out. When in doubt, twin it out. So this is me. She's yellow. And they're both the exact same. From Marshalls, I found some super awesome hats. So I got this one for Jay, and it's just an Adidas baseball cap. And then I really like this one. I got it for either one of us, but it doesn't fit Jay's head, so it's going to work for me instead. I really like that kind of light wash denim. I think it's really cute. And I go for walks in the mornings with the kids, and you guys know um, I'm, like, paranoid about my face being in the sun. It's already gotten darker. Like, for me wearing a hat and being in the pool with SPF and tinted moisturizer, it's still gotten all melasma all down here on my chin now which is like such a nightmare because it always looks like i have a five o'clock shadow i'm always paranoid about wearing hats and then i found this one which is so cute it's just a light pink with that little black adidas sign and then i got these just for like wiping swatches off when i'm doing like instagram stories or makeup tutorials or sometimes i put foundation on the back of my hand to mix it and they're just so cute these are by um body prescriptions and it just says peachy clean and these were at Marshall's and I literally got them I don't even know if they work good or not but I got them because they're gonna look cute sitting out on my little vanity and they've got peaches all over them I mean how cute are those that's adorbs, right? And it says peachy clean. We don't have a little trash. We did have one, but then my sister took it for the spare room when she stayed over for the weekend with us for diapers. Um, and so I figured I'll just put one of these ones with the lid. I just feel like that's like, since that's like the, the toilet that everyone comes to use when like they're over, that's like the guest kind of, I don't know what it's called. It's not a bathroom. I guess it is a bathroom. I don't, what is that word for? I don't know. There's a special word for it. But anyway, um, I wanted to get one that has a lid. This was at Marshall's for $9.99, and it's just like a nice plain white. Oh, these are fun. Lily picked these out. Um, these are like little ice packs from Fit and Fresh, but they're in the shape of little penguins, which I thought was really cute for the kids' lunch boxes. We always lose their little ice packs. So I figured I'd stock up on some more just in case we lose some throughout the year. And then Lily picked out um, a backpack. She's like literally been on the search. We have been so many stores looking for the perfect backpack and the perfect lunchbox. And so we finally found this one at Kohl's and they were having a sale. So this one was only at 19, oh, I'm sorry, it was only $18.31 with tax, which is pretty good. And it comes with like a pencil pouch, a tablet sleeve, the lunchbox, a water bottle. And then it's like that really cute little, it's like very Lisa Frank, isn't it? It's super cute. And then that's what it looks like on the back. So that is her backpack for school, so she's very excited for that. I tried to convince her to have this one, but she said she doesn't like mustard. How, how dare she? So, okay, then from, I think this was Home Goods, I found these cute little um, shower rings for the kids' bathroom. We have a bamboo shower curtain rod 
for the shower curtain but we don't have like we have gems like they're little like crystals and they just don't match so i wanted to get some like natural wood ones and these were only 6.99 these are the shears i ended up finding so we are not going to do blinds i think blinds are lovely and i see them in other people's houses and i like them but i really just don't i'm i just have never really been a blind person um i just don't really care for them personally for me just because number one they're a nightmare to clean you got to dust them all the time they collect all the dust it's just kind of annoying and then also I feel like blinds are pretty much always closed like whenever we've lived in houses that have blinds we never end up having them open and I like to be able to look out so I just don't want blinds because I know that we'll get into the trap of like always keeping the blinds closed um so I want to do shears on all of the windows with a double curtain rod and then an actual curtain that you can close at nighttime so that you can still see out the light still comes in but it's not like hi everyone how are you i'm looking right at you so i found these and this is actually really good it's four panels four four panels which like is really actually quite a good deal for 29.99 these are by, um, by light out these were also from home goods and they're basically just a sheer white 96 inch curtain so i'm really excited that i found those i literally paid like 29 dollars for one at target i think so the fact that i got four in one set is amazing so i ended up getting two of those so now i have eight curtains all together because i have a lot of windows to cover so with the curtain situation has i've just been back and forth back and forth what color do, curtain rod do i want what do i want to do because in here we did bamboo which I love. I think it looks beautiful. I just, I mean, you guys saw it. It looks great. However, the little ridges of the bamboo are kind of a pain. It's not a big deal, but I'm very careful when I close things, but I'm just thinking like in guest rooms or rooms that it's not going to be necessarily me closing it all the time. I don't want something that's difficult to close. I want it to just be like a nice slide across. And so I decided that we wouldn't do the bamboo anywhere else because of that reason. Some people suggested the rings, but some of the bamboo rods are quite thick. Um, I think the rings would work, but again, I think the rings would still get stuck on the ridges. So I'm just going to keep it how it is because I really like the way it looks like this as well. And it is a bit of a pain, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I just wanted to make sure like in the guest room, it's just a nice slide. In the living room, it's a nice slide. So we ended up just doing black rods, just plain black rods, because we have a black fireplace. We have a black TV in there. We have wrought iron um, on our stairs. So I think it'll match. I think it'll look really pretty against the white walls. It'll just be kind of like nice and crisp. Um, and we have black appliances too, or stainless steel, but there's a lot of black. So I think it'll tie everything in. And I got them on Amazon and they were so cheap because I was originally going to do the Martha Stewart ones from Home Depot, but I ended up pricing it all out and you have to buy each thing individually. And because we were doing the double rod, it was going to be like over 50 bucks per window. Like that's kind of a lot considering you can get the black ones as a double. I think I paid like $17 or 20 bucks or something like that. It was super cheap on Amazon for each window. So it ended up saving a lot of money and I think it'll just give like a nice crisp, very like, you know, it'll just look nice. I think it'll be a pop of like, ooh, that's nice. But I'm very glad I got the shears. I think these are a really good deal and um, they're just like nice, plain, just white, white shears. So that was a good score. That's originally what I went out for and I ended up getting everything else instead. And then I got one more piece that is like the best piece. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, and then the last piece I found, which I just realized has a rip, I should have asked for a discount. Do you see that? That is not cool. But anyway, I found this bench at TJ Maxx. Oh no, this was at Home Goods. This was $1.29, which I think is a really good deal because if you look for these type of uh, benches at World Market, they're kind of pricey. So I was really happy that I found it and it's literally exactly what I was looking for. And I've been wanting something in this area, but I just haven't found anything. And then when I saw it, I was like, that's it, I'm doing it. What I love about it is like the legs are really pretty. Those look gorgeous. But then they have a big enough space to where I can fit two baskets that I already owned and slide them underneath. And then we can keep, so like in that one it's Jay's and then in that one it's my shoes for just like, they're like my sneakers for when I go on walks and then just sandals for like going to the pool and stuff. Um, and then we had this mirror that I, well, I bought this when we first um, bought the house, but we haven't hung it. So Jay hung it for me today and it's from Ikea. And I love it because it has the little like, it's a little deeper. So you could technically put little bits, you know, little succulents or something cute if you wanted to. I'm probably gonna keep it just simple and just leave it like that. 
But now, like, if you look at this area, so this is the front entrance, so I've just put like a little plan. I've probably got that at Marshalls or TG Maxx. And then I have the bench, the mirror, and then right across is like the little French doors with the, that's our guest room, um, which I'll show you in a, I'll just have, I'll, I'll give you a little peek. But then this rug, I actually found these at homedepot.com for $38, which was a, such a good deal. And they're by New Loom and they're great. And they're like a really nice big, like not too big, but big front door kind of rug. Um, and they go really well. And I've actually had these for, I got these when we first moved in. And then it just ties in with everything really well. So it's just like a very natural kind of wood, woody, bohemian dream. And I love it. Um, and then it, this is what's in the room across from it. So it's not fully done yet, but I'll give you a little peek. So this is my sister's, this is the, our guest room, but my sister, um, is probably going to be the one using it the most. So she just, we used it this weekend. So I actually need to like strip the sheets and make it all nice for when she comes back again. Because it has the French doors, which isn't ideal if you're a guest, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to put curtains up here. And when it's just always us, we're just going to keep the curtains all the way over to the side. And then when we have guests that come over, they can just close the curtains over the windows. Um, so that they have privacy and then if they want to have it open I just didn't want to cover up the windows because they're so pretty that I wanted to be able to still see it when because the majority of the time we don't have guests but I wanted to give our guests the option to where they have privacy like if my dad and Shelly come over obviously they're not going to want our kids just walking by and seeing them my sister doesn't care but there are times when you're going to have people that don't you know they are more private so that will be curtains um, and then <laughs> least little toy in here and then we're gonna be getting um, 108 is it 108 or 106 108 I think it's 108 inch curtains for here because these are very tall windows this will be a sheer on each middle or like each window and then we'll have just probably white curtains again because this room is very nice and white and bright and I really like it in here it's kind of like an angelic room and then those little kind of sundial mirrors are probably gonna go either, I'm trying to decide because I really like this dream catcher. My mom was like all into dream catchers. So I think I'm gonna put this dream catcher right in the center here so that my sister and Noah can have sweet dreams. And then I'm probably gonna put all the sundial mirrors over on this wall so that it's like just a nice big collection of gold suns basically. And then we have that little picture over there, which is super nice. It stays nice and tidy. And then it's nice because from out in, in the room here, you can look out and see this, which looks pretty. And then if you're out here and you look in, it also looks pretty. So I didn't want to have like also my makeup room. It's always disastrous because I get a lot of PR and there's boxes and there's makeup everywhere for me to sort through. And I don't like it being the first room when you come into the house especially if it's just like a neighbor or just like someone that is like not, like you might not know very well. And then you're like, hi, here's like all of my despicable mess of makeup. So I really wanted this room to like always look nice. I'm super excited. I'll be doing like a full on like proper, once I have all of this done with the curtains and everything, I'll do a full tour of like walk around telling you where everything is from. But I just wanted to give you a little quick sneak peek. Very happy with this. Other than this, I might have to switch it around so that that's hiding in the back because that's a bit of a bummer right there, but oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and like the things that I got, that bench. I'm just like so happy with this bench. Oh, it's so good. So um, yes, thank you guys for watching. I love you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon.